We welcome back YouTube. Hello YouTube, welcome back. We are doing the weekly challenge first to start here. We're also doing a learning night. Uh, we're going to try to learn all the ghosts based off of their abilities. So I'm going to try to force the ghosts to do their abilities, but um, be sure that if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Um, and we are at Sunny Meadows Restricted for the weekly challenge, which is, of course, the Apocalypse Draws Near, um, which you start with tier three stuff. So that's a bonus. Um, but it's not good <laughs> either way. Uh, it is like a night. It's nightmare um, based. Uh, you start with zero sanity. Uh, this is zero evidence as well. So that's that's what the apocalypse challenge is. It's zero sanity, zero evidence. Uh, we are still at 2.0. That's why I'm so bright. Uh, basically, what you're doing with this, uh, you also have the broken breaker, so you have no lights whatsoever. We're going to get in, listen to the ghost, see what it does, uh, trying to pinpoint where the ghost is coming from. And then we're going to, well, try to survive and then Take a wild guess, basically, unless we can get the ghost to do something. Let's see. All right, we're just going to sit right here. The initial hunt. I'm going to turn this off to make sure that it can't see me. And also mute myself. I should change that to push to talk. Let's see if the ghost hunts. It hasn't started a hunt yet. That's... Here it goes. Hunting. So this is restricted, so it's much smaller than the normal asylum, which of course you saw me play yesterday. I am not hearing this ghost once so ever. Try to get it to come to me. Hello, hello, hello. Even though it's restricted, it's still quite large. So you still have the left wing and the right wing. And you you don't have the downstairs, though. Where's this ghost? Hello, hello, hello. They are short hunts. Okay, let's see if we see anything out of place. Now, I believe you have a cursed item. Uh, there is no cursed items on Apocalypse. Okay. I don't... There's no candles blown out. Could listen for another hunt because it's going to hunt very soon. I'm not sure what the actual timing on the hunts are. We will not hear the front door close, but we will hear it lock because I did not open it. I think it's hunting. Here it comes. Okay, that sounds like normal speed or 150. Sees me. Hello. Uh, normal speed up as far as I could hear. Let's go ahead and smudge. Yeah, this is a like run of the day, run of the mill ghost. Nothing special. In a ghost event right after a hunt? What? Okay. Um, so it seems to possibly have teleported there. That's very interesting that it did a ghost event right after a hunt. Let's see if we can't see that camera that's down that hallway there. Ghost is not in the chapel, so ghost is just outside the chapel. Um... Oh, which would be hallway there, right? I believe it would be. Let's do this. Let's bring it in their smudge. Let's bring in a crucifix and try to catch this before it hunts. Um, so that was definitely a normal speed ghost. A 150 normal speed ghost. Uh, it's not a Diogen. It's not a Moroi. <sighs> could, it could be a Raiju. Uh, that was not twins. It had normal speed up on line of sight. Uh, so that means it would not be a Hantu for sure. Not a Revenant. 
Um, it could have just done a teleport there. That's possible. We did smudge. Uh, we smudged at... I want to say 18... Well, that would have been 1750 or something like that. Let's see if it hunts again soon. If it does, it could be a demon. So what could this ghost actually be? I don't want to burn a smudge here. This could just be an Oni, considering he did a ghost of it after a hunt. Wait. Oh, you damn thunder. You damn thunder. The ghost got slow. I heard that. I heard that. The ghost got slow. There's no electronics or anything anywhere nearby, so this ghost got really slow. Um, so definitely not any of this normal crew then. This is a speed-based ghost. So it got slow. Um, okay. So it ran at normal speed, and then at some point it slowed down. Is this just a Hantu? Is this a Hantu? This could just be a Hantu. Because if it slowed down during a hunt, the only ones that could slow down during a hunt would be a Hantu. All right. Well, that's not bad. That's that's good. Um, I did not see freezing breath on me, but I did not have it in a hunt long enough. So let's see. Get back in here. Let's actually have it see me. Get it to hunt and we might try a little loop. It was slow again. There's freezing breath right there. This could just be a Hantu. Come here, come here, come here, come here. It's a Hantu. It is definitely a Hantu. So yeah, it was absolutely, it was it what seemed like normal speed and then it hit a certain area and it slowed down i'm going with hantu on this one i'm gonna be very curious as to which one this is because i dropped no electronics is this as simple as just being a hantu Phantom doesn't get slower. Why was it slower? Was it just missing footsteps? It could have just been missing footsteps then, I guess. That was interesting. Two abilities used. Okay, so it teleported. That it was like it was coming towards me. That was weird. That's a weird one. So it just didn't. Hmm. I guess if I brought a well, see, even if I brought a camera, it would have been impossible to get it during a hunt. Phantom is one of the toughest to get during a hunt. Basically, you can't get a picture of it during a hunt um, unless we smudged it and had it just sit. Uh, I don't know. That that one was weird. <laughs> that was weird. I'll chalk that up as weird. It's just a strange one. A phantom that slowed down. It sounded like it got so slow. It's like the only ghost that does that is a Hantu. And I, I looped it and I was able to track it pretty easily. That, in a phantom you're normally not able to see for very long. Why did they have it on heavy rain? Like seriously? <laughs> That's just awful. People are mean. 
All right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and bring in the normal stuff here. Let's see if we can't get a ghost that is actually a speed difference ghost. Those are the easiest ones to tell. Uh, and then also not get it to hunt near me. Let's just do the same stuff. We're just going to park over here and wait for a second, see when it hunts. Try to pinpoint where it's coming from. Yeah, Phantom that I was e a easily able to track. That's just weird. I mean, I saw it the entire way as it ran around. All right. Okay, nothing. Let's try to get it to come to us. Hello, hello, hello. Don't hear anything. Hello, ghost. Hello. Don't hear anything. Hello, ghost. Hello. And it's already done. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, God. This is left side asylum? Ugh. See, I didn't know that... Asylum did that. I don't know. Asylum Restricted did that. That is so weird. I should have popped open the door. I don't hear a lock or anything. I think it's probably hunting. Hello, hello, hello. So it's all the way on the left side. This is like the safest area because you can see it block handles and stuff. Hello, hello, hello. Do you believe it's hunting? Hello, ghost. Hello. Can you hear me? Nothing. Is it far side? Hello, ghost. Hello, hello. It's not hunting. Okay, so it's far side. That's very weird. Let's see. Hello, ghost. Hello, hello. I'm not even sure what layout this is. I'm not used to asylum, nor should anybody be used to it. It's not hunting. Why is it not hunting? It's just a shade. Am I in its room? Could be. I don't hear anything. Nothing going on? All right. This asylum restricted doesn't lock those doors either. So it's much harder to see when it's actually going to hunt. You basically need this door open, and there's an ad, right? Get over to this door. Not hunting. All right, let's step outside for a second. Ghost is not doing anything. We get lucky and spot uh, orbs. Not sure where this ghost room would be. Would just be hallway. Yeah, three three cameras. <laughs> so it's it's over there somewhere. Thanks. That's really helpful. Thanks for nothing. It's down an entrance this way over there. Oh, we could have a downstairs ghost. Oh boy. Lovely. That's this asylum. Oh, this isn't downstairs. This is uh, this room. I don't see any freezing breath, so not over here. Still hasn't hunted yet. What? Why is this ghost not hunted? Hello, 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 ghost. What ghost just simply doesn't hunt? Oh, it's hunting. 
Okay. Where at? Hello, ghost. Hello, hello. It must be straight through here. Yeah. Hello, ghost. Hello, hello. Hello, ghost. Ghosty, ghosty. Alright, so it's far left wing. Ghosty, ghosty. Ghosty, ghosty. Ghost. Alright, you're down here. Alright, this is gonna be a fun one to figure out because guess what? That door locks. Alright. Oh, we got it. Right here. Let's go ahead and smudge. Okay, we are now safe for a minute and a half. Let's just get back out and get a crucifix in there. Okay. Well, at least it's in the first room there. That's perfect. It's actually very helpful, so we can easily get out of here. Okay. I'm gonna hold a smudge on me. Let's get a crucifix in there. And, um, that's about all we can do. <laughs> Lovely. I should have enough time to get back there. So shiny. Door's gonna slam in my face as soon as I get over there. Not a phantom. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, normal speed was speed up. That thing was so like passive and stuff. It didn't hunt. I'm going to go with shade. What the hell is this? That's new. This one was such a weird one. It just didn't hunt. It was a Moroi? That wasn't Moroi speed. I mean, sure, I heard skipping, but... Eh. Alright, well, let's try one more. So far, so bad. <laughs> so far, they've not made any sense whatsoever. So I guess the Moroi 150... Zero, zero sanity is so fast that you can't hear like the footsteps kind of skip. They go too fast. All right. Well, hey, we found the ghost room at that time. That was pretty good. All right, we're here. Take a look at that was just such a weird one because it didn't do anything. And then it hunted. And I had no chance anyway at that point. It's just a strange one there. I don't know. Let's get back in there and try it again. Let's see if we get a ghost that actually behaves properly this time. That would be nice. Oh, let's just do the normal strat. Wait a second. Listen for a hunt. I could actually bring in fire lights and crucifix and stuff in here. Um, Kind of just light the place up. Just make sure that we can see what we're doing here. Okay. Nothing is happening. Should we just guess Moroi again? <laughs> Nothing happening. Okay. Oh, now you lock. I hear nothing. Okay. Hello, ghosty. I hear nothing. Hello, ghosty. Go 
Mouse is not doing anything. Hello, ghosty. Oh, we got long wing. Oh, boy. Oh, this version really sucks. I believe it. The hunt's over already. Nope. Hunting. You notice how that uh, shift in like volume that signifies that a hunt has started and then it ending. You hear it. It kind of kicked off. Still going. Hello, ghosty. Hello, ghosty. I believe the hunt's over now. Yeah, hunt's over. Okay, I heard nothing on this wing. Right back on the other wing. Oh boy, so it's around this whole loop. Oh, and that area? Oh, jeez. Oh, I heard a door. The hell was that? Over there? Okay, we are close to the ghost room here. Listen for a hunt, and I believe it's right around the corner. Wrong button. Holy shit, that's fast. They? Probably a they. That's a they or a moroi. What do we think? They? That was extremely fast. I'm gonna say they. I don't think I'm gonna get a Moroi twice in a row. Cause that wasn't speed up based off of the um, electronics or anything. Welcome back. It was indeed a Thay. That was just a guess based off the speed because it sounded like it was fast enough to be the fastest ghost. It does knock out the Thay. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and get a prediction started. For this while we're doing it um because i need to get these things right anyway go ahead and get a prediction do we think it's going to be a new ghost do we think it's going to be a repeat i think it's going to be one of those five we have nailed now and uh with this you don't have to survive you just have to get the ghost right so let's get right back on in there if i get this next one right then we will finish it out uh if not then we will switch up and just go into learning mode so that was a 150 percent speed thay which would make it what nine nine meters per second then no 150 uh three six, six and a half no 150 percent speed so that would be five and a half meters per second because it would be three meters per second normally with the fastest speed uh because the moroi i believe is 2.7 Oops, I didn't grab my uh, head cam. I might need that. Thank you. Down the corner. Listen for a hunt. We could check and see what setup we have. Here it comes already. Okay, nothing. Start peeking. We got left side again. I believe this door is locked. Hello, ghosty. Okay, so this door is locked. Yep, okay. Hello, ghosty. And is unlocked now. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't like it when it's the full left wing.
That sounds normal for 150. This track's trailed off. All right. Hunting from right side. Touched a lot of doors. Just gonna get a little bit closer to the ghost room. I know there's a hiding spot here somewhere. I'm not sure where though. I just wanna kinda listen for where this ghost comes from. Don't think this is a Moray. It's definitely not a Dio. It's not a Thay. Not a Rev. Not a Hantu. Here it comes. Okay, normal speed again. Okay, we're about at the tail end of the investigation. Tail end of the hunt. Ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. It's already done. All right, we need this thing to see me. Wait for a second. Oh, we got cold breath here. Wait a second. Cold breath here. Could this, I mean, Cold breath right here. Hello. Hopefully this smudges it. Fuck. Did not. So we got cold breath here. It's hunting, but from where? What the hell? Confused. Confused. Ghosty, ghosty. What? Where did it hunt from? It hunted from a completely different area. All right, so we got cold breath in the hall there. But then the ghost decided not to hunt from there. Definitely don't get cold breath elsewhere. Hmm. So the ghost is in that hall. Must have hunted from the back of the hall. Because I smudged it. That door is going to be shut now. The ghost still can come through it. Don't hear it. Ghosty, ghosty. And it's done. Okay. I'm going to assume it's way in the back of this hallway here. Because this hallway is huge. idea. Wait, I heard that. You're in here, aren't you? You are in here. Why, peekaboo. Okay, let's find a hiding spot nearby. Uh, let's see. We basically just need to hear this thing, have it see me, try to hide. If we can't hide, then... F us, I guess. So an immediate crucifix burn. A throw. A couple of throws. Cold breath. I mean, we aren't going to be able to find any evidence. We're just in the ghost room. Alright, let's get it to hunt. Need you to hunt, please. Hunt, hunt, kill, kill. A lot of throws. Could this just be a pulte? That's a lot of throws. So many throws. 
see where it hunts from. Need you to hunt, please. Not exactly a hiding spot, but this is just so I can hear where the ghost is coming from. Come on, ghosty, you gotta do something, buddy. He keeps throwing things. Ghost is a lunatic. Keeps throwing things. It's having a temper tantrum. Ghost is baby. That's not him. What? This ghost is not hunting? What the hell is this ghost doing? Why won't you hunt, ghost? Come on, ghosty. Come on. Did I smudge inside? No, I didn't smudge inside the room. I smudged in the hallway. Crucifix burned as soon as I came out. Interesting. Ghost is roaming. Okay, it should be hunting soon now. It's doing lots of throws. Let's see, maybe we'll get lucky. It'll walk the other way. And then I can get it to see me. It's doing so many throws. It's not doing an event, though. Probably gonna go with Poltergeist. Could be okay. As I'm standing here with the electronic, it couldn't, it, it, it did not immediately turn around when I turned on electronics. I don't know if I was too far. Could this be a yokai? Hmm, because I turned on my head cam. We got an ad in progress. Turn on my head cam and it did not immediately come to me. I think it actually needed LOS to see me. It was so many throws. It didn't seem to do any throws when it hunted me. I'm actually going to go with a yokai. Based off the fact that it didn't even turn around. When I had the electronic on. Hmm. I mean, any ghost can do a lot of throws. Okay. Okay, that one you can chalk up to saying impossible, because that one is literally impossible to figure out uh, on an apocalypse challenge. The mayor wouldn't be able to do anything, because there's no lights. <laughs> I mean, we could bring in, oh, to bring in candles and stuff. So you could start ruling out ghosts, but we need to have a ghost that's in like one of the first rooms or in the chapel. If we get a ghost there, then we can actually start ruling out the ghost as opposed to just letting it hunt. Because right now I'm just letting it hunt, going off of hopefully finding an ability, um, which isn't the best way of doing it, of course. Best way of doing is actually okay. Immediate hunt.
and hearing nothing. Okay. A ghosty ghosty. I believe it's done already. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to go off of that one, which is normal. They don't give you a cursed item, right? Yeah, that's right. It wouldn't matter. You wouldn't be able to do a cursed item. Not hunting. Hello, ghost. Where art thou? Where art thou, my ghosty ghosty? I'm just gonna go and open up the front door so that I can hear when the hunt starts. Got nothing already. It was a almost immediate hunt. Nothing to go off of. We on right side? Okay, we're on right side asylum only. Okay. Okie dokie. Not hunting yet. Obviously nothing to go off of yet. Heard it for a second. Ghosty, 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 ghosty. I think it's done. Nope. Ghosty, ghosty. And it's done. A couple of door touches. It sounded like it could have been. Yeah, yeah. It's over here somewhere. Okie dokie. Let's go off a hunt. See which area you could possibly be in. Well, could be right here. Couple of things thrown. I mean, it did get close to this area. I think I might just let it hunt. These are such short hunts that you can definitely just kind of sit here, let it hunt, smudge, rule out what you can. Surprised I've already gotten one right. <laughs> it's a shocker to me. All right, let you hunt. Come on, buddy. Go ahead and hunt, please. There you are. Uh, you are not speeding up or slowing down. You are a normal blink. Yeah, you're normal, normal, creepy, normal. Normal, normal, creepy, normal. Still sees me, and it's probably gonna catch me, and I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was 100% normal, so no electronic speed up. Oh boy. I'm just gonna go with demon. That was just an... That was a boring one, probably a spirit, actually. Is your shit? Right. 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 <laughs> that would have been so impossible to figure out. All right, that is enough of that nonsense. Now it's time for mom sense. I mean, wait, no, that's that's not right. Okay, let's go ahead and. get down to brass tacks. I'll uh, make sure I got everything right. Do I have the tier three photo camera? I don't think I do. No, I level 70 for that. Okay. Well, we're actually almost there, so that's cool. Okay. Um, that would have been a new ghost. It's completely meaningless at this point because there was a not impossible to figure out. Okay. Um, so let's see, let's, um, 
Let's start teaching a little bit. Nightmare mode. So we're gonna go with the hit list. Do we think it's gonna be a new ghost? Do we think it's going to be a repeat there? And let's start learning here. So we're playing on Nightmare, so we're only gonna get two evidence. So we're gonna have to figure out the ghost based off of its ability, which is the point of this. Trying to get the ghost to use its ability. And I'm going to try to teach as much as I know, which isn't a whole lot. I mean, I'm only on case 822. I'm still not even to a thousand yet. Could be a bear, light switching. Um, but here's what we're going to do. Let's do this. So I don't have the uh, night vision yet. Uh, I still have quite a bit to go. So we're going to try to grind out and get that as well as we're doing the teaching. We do Tanglewood for quite a bit. We're gonna do some of my my favorites for quite a bit, just to um really get a feel for the game. Basically, I gotta say it's like I love this game and stuff. It, I love it based off of I uh, where the hell is this? Where are you? Um, hello, Phantom. Oh, there you are. Ew, you're disgusting. Put some clothes on, please. Gross. Anyways, uh, this could be an Oni. Uh, so an Oni is the most active of all the ghosts in the game. Uh, and that's kind of what gives me away that this is probably an Oni. That was a very early ghost event. Not many ghosts in the game do that. Uh, so we're gonna get everything in here. Uh, we saw the cold breath, the Oni. Seriously? Jesus. Okay, this is definitely an Oni. Um. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, two ghost events immediately? What in the hell? Okay, uh, repel, cleanse, and escape. That's all during one hunt. We can do all of those immediately. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our crucifixes because this thing is nuts. Um. You normally don't get a ghost that this is this, that is this active. We're gonna get our evidence in there. I believe Oni is. Uh, I don't know if it's ghost orbs or not, but uh, this ghost is going to do events constantly. If this is indeed an Oni, and I think I just heard another ghost event in a different room. So what I do with the crucifixes is I put them in spots that I don't want the ghost to hunt me in. Uh, ghost could actually be laundry room. Yeah, it could be laundry room. So with the tier one thermo, you're going to see it going up or down. Ghost is in laundry room at the moment. Uh, you'll see it go up or down immediately. So you see it going up now, you know it's not the ghost room. And it should go back down. Yeah, it's going back down. Alrighty, Mayor. Uh, that's another ghost that will do abilities like that. Uh, so we did just rule out a phantom. Uh, we took a picture of the ghost, and the ghost was still visible in the picture. Never mind. Okay, we can't rule out a phantom because that picture apparently was not close enough. Okay, this ghost is crazy. Um... So we've gotten no evidence whatsoever, and there's a ghost clearly in this picture. I don't know why that didn't count. We're going to get some salt in. Uh, we're going to get a... Good lord, I might have to bring a smudge stick immediately here. This ghost is so active. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in book. I would assume book is going to be one of this evidence. Bring in salt just to rule out a wraith, because this thing seems to be doing events all over the place. We have no evidence yet. This ghost has been doing events back to back to back to back. And another light. Turn off a light. Could be a mare. Mares uh, turn off lights constantly. Could be as simple as a mare. 
We uh, kind of do a mare test just by turning on lights around the area. That is cold breath in here again. Let's see. Another ghost event. I have no idea where this thing is at. I'm just going to take the picture there. Still haven't gotten a picture of this damn ghost. <laughs> this is crazy. Still haven't gotten a picture of the ghost. Okay, ghost is clearly in here. There's just breath out there for some reason. Give me a sign. Yeah, this could just be a yokai. It's very interesting how, how active this thing is. Okay, it's stepped in salt, so that did rule out our first ghost. Uh, wraiths cannot step in salt. Oh dear, um, let me just... Okay, I can't pill up, you see that? I'm trying to pill. Uh, that means I'm at 100% sanity and this ghost is still going nuts. So at this point, I can safely rule out a shade. Shades are not going to do that. There's no way. This could be a Thay. Uh, Thays will do ghost events constantly when they first start. Um, but, I mean, so far we've gotten absolutely nothing, including a picture of the ghost. Let's go ahead and bring in our evidence. And uh, hope for the best here. Hopefully this ghost doesn't uh, start eating my face in 100% sanity. All right, the ghost is either roaming or is teleporting. It is one of those two. Let's see, do we have ghost orbs? I'm gonna go ahead and just put this over here. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you Canadian? Where are you? Eh? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? You are not here. Okay, you are clearly not Spirit Box. Give me a sign. You are indeed Zorma. Hello, Zorma. <laughs> Can you give me a sign? Why aren't you giving me a sign anymore? Why have you stopped doing events? Five. Wait, throw? Where was that throw? Hello, throw. Throw was not in here. Is that the bone? Wait a second. What you doing over there, buddy? Uh, how are you, Mary? Is it in a hallway? Is it living room? It appears to be living room now. Ghost has moved. Okay, let's reset up our crucifix. It is definitely living room now. Okay, ghost has moved. That is perfectly acceptable. No, it's not. Not acceptable at all. You touch the door. You touch the door. Hello, door. Oh boy. Uh, thank you for the biddies, uh, Jigsaw. Thank you, thank you. Where? What? What the hell? What's going on here? Huh? No, it's 3,000. It's 3,000 bits for it. Yes. But it'll take, it'll keep track of it. So if anybody else donates biddies, I don't see any fingerprints. Is that EMF5? That is three twice. This thing is very active. All right, let's uh, do this. We need spirit box. Where are you? Where are you? That's from behind. You are indeed from behind. Okay, it is from behind. Uh, we got spirit box, so it is not an Oni. So this is more than likely twins, I would say. God, with how active it was, oh, this could be a yokai. Okay, let's look for orbs. This, we know we're in the right room. There's the orb. Excellent. Oh, let me go ahead and reshow that uh, for anybody who is uh, very curious as to what an orb actually looks like. Let me get as close as I can without it disappearing. That is a ghost orb right there. They are hard to catch sometimes because they will clip through things, but you can kind of track it around just like that. It looks like snow falling upwards, basically, and you will always see it. Uh, in the actual ghost room 
and uh, mimics will give them no matter what. So we could have a mimic on our hands. So what we're looking for now is ultraviolet or freezing and we will rule out a mimic. Um, so that's what I always look for as the first line of defense against the mimic. Um, so the ghost really has gotten calm since that's happened. This could indeed be the two that I have suggested already. Uh, the mayor of the yokai. We're going to do an Onrio test in just a minute, and I will explain what the Onrio test is as well. Um, along with doing this as well with the lights. Uh, so the mayor uh, will avoid lights, uh, will avoid lighted areas. So now that its room is lit up, more than likely it's going to try to run away from it. It is going to roam out of the area. So what you do is kind of set up a mayor trap. We got non and Oni airball coming at me. Uh, that is the non and Oni. Damn it, airball. Uh, that is a 10% sanity drain with these three ghosts. Um, that is an airball that eliminates the Oni at any time you get it because the Oni cannot do that little ghost event. <clears throat> Try to get you a good look at the non and Oni airball. It is not freezing. I'm going to say it is not a mimic. I just need to get it to touch a door. Can you give me a sign? Let's get it to touch a door. Touch a door. Give me a sign. Does not appear to be a mare. Um, though it did do a light break event. And it has flipped off two light switches so far. And it has not turned on light switches. A mare cannot turn on light switches. Uh, let's do a little bit of a mare trap here because I know the ghost could go into this room. Okay, touch the door. Let's see. So we're looking for fingies. Uh, this is just to rule out the mimic. Okay, touch this door here. So if we saw fingies, we would know it's a mimic. It is not a mimic. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm pretty sure the ghost is still in here. Ghost is still in here. You see the cold breath. So let's grab um, candle for the um, Onrio test. So the way the Onrio test works is you will drop a candle, two candles, firelight, whatever you want to call it, directly on top of a crucifix. The Onrio must blow out all the firelights in the area before it can hunt. Um, and if it does blow out all of them and the crucifix burns at the exact same time, there's an ad break um, that institutes that it is clearly an Onrio. I'm going to step outside while there's an ad. Just going to prep for each of these ghosts at this point. Uh, yokai and mare. So you're not missing anything. Anybody who's in the ad break. I am literally just getting things set up just to be able to listen to the ghost. So we don't have to worry about any of those anymore. We really don't have to worry about salt. We can go for salt for pictures, um, which is probably what I'll do. Right, welcome everybody back from the ad break. Just gonna grab salt to get some pictures and uh, then we're gonna do the on Rio test. So if it blows all three of those candles out right away and there's a crucifix burn, got yourselves an on Rio. On Rios have been very inconsistent with me Meaning, a lot of times, I'll just have an Onrio hunt while there's candles lit everywhere. Um, but the basis of the Onrio is that it must blow out a firelight before it can hunt. Um, now, it can hunt outside of the range of a crucifix, which is the issue with the Tier 3 crucifix. Tier 2 crucifix, though, doesn't really have that issue. Now you're back in here, aren't you? 
See that? Just saw cold breath one more time. Uh, ghost appeared to have moved back into its original room. You know, we have five degrees. Let's see if it drops here. It does not drop here. Let's see if it drops in here. It does indeed give cold breath. Ghost has moved back to its original room. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, an optimized fool. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. You playing some more City Skylines there? Drowning Sorrows in City Skylines. <laughs> oh, you're playing WoW tonight. I see. Nice, nice. I haven't played that game in so long, and I hope to never play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody. So we're doing we're doing a little um oh there was a patch, okay. We're doing a um a bit of a learning game tonight. Uh we failed miserably at the weekly challenge. Um I did end up getting one right, so I'm one third of the way there. Uh but we are doing a bit of a learning curve, uh if you wanna call it here. Uh we got a light we got a double candle blow on. Let's see if it blows out one more and does a hunt. If it does, we have an Onrio on our hands. So the Onrio must hunt after the third candle blow out. Okay, it can't hunt right now because there's currently a candle. Let's see if it blows it out. Because that was three. And do we get a hunt? We don't have a hunt. And I have this directly on top of the crucifixes for the main reason that I have them completely... Oh my god. Okay, this could be an Onrio. Who's played since, since 2006? Oh god. No, I played right before Burning Crusade came out. And then I played for several years. That immediately rules out the Onrio right there. There's a candle still clearly lit. And that rules out the Onrio. Um, so I believe we have our ghost. Let me step out of the house real quick. Got stuck and suffered because of it. <laughs> you avoided that. Yeah, I played uh, hardcore during um, Burning Crusade. I leveled all my characters to level 70. I played all the alts, every single character, and I was the... Um, I, I don't want to brag, but I was the number two uh, horde priest on the server for quite a while. Um, we just we got destroyed by um, by lag on Felmist. It um it, it obliterated the guild. We had three people always disconnect during Felmist, and it destroyed us. So. We ended up, like, flopping towards, um, I, oh, what the hell was it? Uh, uh, the twins, like, we couldn't beat the twins. Uh, we did end up beating them a couple of times, but I was so looking forward to being the, the Shadow Priest, uh, to be able to be the tank for, um, uh, for Mur Muru, and, uh, the guild fell apart before then. Which was unfortunate. It was very unfortunate. But, you know, I eventually... It's like, so I played several years after that. Uh, we played through Kata. I leveled all my characters, plus a secondary account, all to level 100. And then it was the next expansion. It's like, I, and then the next expansion, the next expansion. I played for 11 years. I played for way too long. I gave up with PvE on um, uh, the very end of uh, Wrath of Lich King when we were on hard man, hard 25, um, Arthas, when we got to phase three and just could not get any further. And then the guild eventually broke up and uh, I decided to go PVP and I played PVP for several years. Had a blast with friends, but then it, it was too much. It's like that that was my whole life was wow. It, it was bad. <laughs> Hmm? You ruined it, yep. And then uh, I met somebody and she ruined it, and then we, uh, we had fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like we got hit by, so oh god. So throughout the expansions, there were several walls, and the biggest one was the Felmist wall. 
that absolutely destroyed the guild. And then um, the next ones during Watlick, 25 hard man Arthas, that that was bad. After that, at that point, I said, you know what? Let's play some PvP. And on uh, we were RBG guild, and uh, I led an RBG guild for our. our I was one went away from 2k on my uh my blood death knight and i was the only blood death knight uh pvp -er for ever forever and ever i proved that you couldn't absolutely do it it's just people didn't like it so they didn't want to bring me along it's like the amount of uh damage that i could mitigate and just stand there with the flag it was amazing I was not mostly frost. I was blood death knight for forever and ever. And then uh, eventually they said, it's like, well, you have to go frost. It's like, Ugh. it's like, we got a warrior. We got a druid. I was like, okay, fine. I'll be frost. I mean, I was good at it, but it wasn't as fun. It wasn't as fun. The one thing that I will say I miss was right before it was big uh, when everybody was leveling death knights and I was leveling death knight out in Hellfire Peninsula and I had a group of people a group of 70s or a group of were they level 70 I think they were level 70 or level 80 or something like that a couple of pricks who kept ganking people around me and they decided to take on my unholy death knight who was level 69 I think at the time I beat them I killed them both and it was hilarious because they killed me and then you spawn as the ghoul, you explode, you kill them. <laughs> and it was the best time. I stopped them from ganking other people. It was so funny. And then eventually, what was it? I were in the grand and I was alone, like off on my own on, I think I was, was I blood at the time? I think I might have been blood at the time because I was leveling tank and trying to learn it. And I ended up running into a max level warrior who was actually in PvP gear, and I killed him. And that was the funniest time because he kept just, you know, char going out, charging, going out, charging, going to charge, trying to show off. I ended up jumping off a side, death gripping him over, running up to the side, aggroing all the mobs, chasing him to him, and getting him killed. And it was one of the best times. <laughs> I had some pretty, pretty funny moments. Um. Nerd. Exactly. Nerd. But we're doing this now. <laughs> I have so many stories about WoW, but it is all for another time. Um, so what happened here? We have ruled out the Onryo because the Onryos cannot hunt when there's a candle present. And that was a crucifix bird directly on top of a candle. What level am I in this? I am two, uh, uh, prestige two, level 60, 60? Is it level 60? I think I'm prestige 260 right now. Um, oh dear. Okay, so. So far it hasn't flipped any light switches after I've done things. It did do the one break. Um, we might have to get a hunt to get the yokai test. We're going to do a reverse yokai test, as I call it, uh, patent pending. Um, so what I do uh, to do the reverse yokai test, I'm actually going to get some pictures of that salt that it stepped in as well. Uh, I'm going to go in. That's the freaking thing going. Uh, with my... with my uh, microphone muted and we'll just go around, you know, I'm just blah, 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 doing things, just normal, normal things, like saying blah, 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 turn off. Okay, it's ghost event. Okay, that's not a normal turn off. <laughs> it's not a normal turn off. <laughs> ghost is turned off by lights, confirmed. Okay, let's just turn on some of these lights here. There we go. Um, I definitely don't think that this is a mare. There's simple fact that it's not using its mare ability. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Freezing. Freezing indeed. Gotta have to get caught up on Archer. 
I have not uh, not gotten caught up. I have gotten caught up at least to start the next season, but there's so many shows I have to get caught up on. I just don't have the time. Oh, we got a candle blow out. Okay. I tried clicking it to turn it on. That's not how you turn that on. Okay. Was that in the kitchen? I, I swear, that always sounds like knives and forks. It's not. That's not a knife and a fork. That's just in here. Okay, now the candle blow out. Nice. Oh, I've already screwed up the perfect. That's right. All right. Safe to say it's not in on Rio. It is throwing, uh, it's throwing paint, paint cans everywhere. That's what that sound is. The spray can, spray can, spray can, spray paint. That's what this game does to me. Wow, really? Throwing spray paint everywhere. You're gonna make a mess. It is just throwing. I'm just gonna take a random picture. Okay. Did I get it? I got a one star. Nice. All right. Okay. You notice how nothing's really happening. It's doing throws, yada, yada, yada. Ready? Let's see if it hunts now. If I just start blah, 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 blah. I believe you could be a yokai. Okay. Immediate. It's just blowing out the candle. Blah, blah, blah. It's not really doing anything. Blah, blah, blah. Not really doing anything. Might not be a yokai. Uh, let's see if we can get, I mean, we could definitely just go here. We could go here for yokai test. Um, let's see, do we have a hiding spot over here? We do have a hiding spot right here, so we could loop it back to the uh, garage, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's see what uh, cursed item we have. It's summoning circle, that's useless. It is summoning circle, and that's useless. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and light some just to burn our sanity so we can get a hunt. Do we have hiding down here? No, we do not. All right, let's just burn some sanity. That'll bring me about 50% just under. It's hunting. Let's see if we can get it to come down here. Just walking around, good. It immediately went downstairs. This is probably a mare. Hello. You just run this way. All right. Okay, so not a definitive test there, uh, but that seem to have rolled out the yokai there, so I triggered the, um, I, uh, this thing. I can never remember what it's called. <laughs> Good Lord Storm. Uh, the walkie-talkie. I triggered the walkie-talkie, and it seemed to have immediately come towards me. I am willing to bet that this is probably just a mare. It's done a couple of light switches. It just really hasn't done much other than that. Um, this more than likely is not a yokai. It did seem to immediately come down to me. I mean, that could have been a lucky, um... Could have just been a lucky, uh, uh, guess in Rome, but... I'm gonna say this is a mare. Did a couple light switches, and it also broke the light. Which is a couple of the mare abilities, so there you go. Let's see if it did its ability. Uh, I know I'm not going to get a perfect because I didn't get the bone either, but let's see what we got. Uh, so we had no abilities used, but we had five room changes. Holy hell. No wonder why this one was so difficult. <laughs> wow, five room changes in a 27 minute game. Five room changes. Time out of its favorite room was 5 minutes and 11 seconds and 20 minutes? It was in its room for 22 minutes? With 5 room changes? 
Holy crap, that was insane. All right, well, we got ourselves a mayor. We knocked out the mayor. Um, next investigations are hopefully gonna be a little bit faster. But there you go, we have gotten the first one and uh, we didn't see it use abilities, but we did see what the mayor is capable of because you noticed as the lights were on, the ghost was like, well, it really wasn't doing anything. And it changed from the garage, which initially broke the light, went to the living room, and then when the lights were on in the living room, it decided to change rooms back to the garage. Uh, and it seemed to change between each dark room. So it did go from the garage to the laundry room, to the living room, back to the living, back to the garage. That's what I'm just gonna assume it changed several times going back and forth. Let's go ahead and do Ridgeview. Uh, I prefer Ridgeview just because it is my favorite. Uh, I'm, I'm 265, that's what that is. I would be a lot higher, it's just the uh, experience is very slow. I'm cool with that, doesn't really matter. Oh, you know what? I uh, We have heavy fog. I forgot to change this back to 1.2. Okay, let's grab this, that, and the other. Should actually bring the uh, picture camera, but I normally do that when I have a tier 3 head cam. Let's see. So typically how I start Ridgeview is I'll flip on these two lights. I'll look and see if it's the doll. It is not the doll. Check the garage for the breaker. It is not the breaker in there. Uh, so there's three locations of the breaker in Ridge, Ridgeview and is the rest of them are down here. There's one on this corner and one right on the other corner. I also may have just heard something upstairs. That is just a random sound. That is not the ghost. It's the stupidest thing. <laughs> it's absolutely the stupidest thing. Uh, tarot cards spawn there. Don't see tarot cards. Wonder if I heard something on the up upstairs. Uh, let's see. Ouija board spawns there. Not seeing cold breath or anything yet. Oh. That sounded like it could have been upstairs. There's definitely a door or something. It sounded like it could have been over here. Could have been. That little creaking and stuff is just ambient noise. I just music box. We could use music box to find exactly where the ghost is. Ah, oh, there's an ad break, however. I swear I'm hearing something. Wow, it's foggy in the bathroom. We have found the ghost. It's in the bathroom. Bathroom ghost. It is indeed bathroom ghost. All right. Do that. Turn on the little bit of lights that I need. And we'll get out of here. Get back to the truck. Just so nobody really misses anything there. I'm actually going to reset my lighting back up a little bit because that actually looked good. Uh, we'll just go up just a couple. All right. So we found the ghost. It is in the bathroom. Oops, that's not how you do that. Do it that way. So we'll just bring in thingies. We'll bring in ghost writing and we'll bring in the camera. That should be good. So it's in the um, upstairs right bathroom. A couple of things thrown fairly far, so keep that in mind. This could be Oni, could be Poltergeist. Uh, we will set up for them as we go. Another throw. So there's one thing thrown way over here. Thrown. Thrown. All right. 
Uh, we got fingies. We do have fingies. All right, so we got ultraviolet. So it could be a poltergeist indeed. Um, just going off the fact that this toothbrush sits here. That's a heck of a throw. Okay, do we have freezing? Poltergeist would be freezing as well. That is one of the poltergeist's evidence. That is not one of the poltergeist evidence. Never mind. I did not say that. Ignore me. Uh, that was a knock on the window. That is what that sound was. We got fingies on the window. Uh, that looks to be normal fingies. Oh, that is so hard to tell. Yes, that is normal fingies. Hi. How are you? <laughs> All right. You're definitely here. Oh, uh, we got no ghosts ready. Let's look for orbs real quick. That was also a little bit of an early event. Not entirely early, but it was definitely an early event. Wow, that didn't fix the uh, issue that I'm having with the lights. Let's look for orbs. I see no orbs. Could be they clipping, anything like that. I do not see orbs though. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that there. I wonder what the ghosts think about people streaming this game. You know, it's a curious thing. Because normally, would, would people really be talking this much? Like if they played this game? Do, do you think that that makes this more difficult? <laughs> It's the silly things they think of while uh, being killed by the ghosts. Okay, not giving anything else. I'm gonna assume it's probably going to be either EMF or spirit box. So let's go grab the spirit box. In dots, it is so foggy. So while we come out here, so this is when I kind of go through each ghost and kind of rule them out, kind of pinpoint like what we're looking at so far. Uh, so far, it's given fingerprints twice and it has given it a special Obake fingerprint. I wouldn't rule it out just yet because it's still possible. Um, for how active it is and for the big throws, I'm thinking poltergeist right now. Um, we're going to bring a camera or picture camera just in case we can get a picture of it to hope to see a phantom. And um, this could be a Gorio. However, that was a really early event. Um, it doesn't limit it per se, but it does limit it for like a shade. A shade couldn't do such an early event. Um, a mimic, however, could pretend to be any of these ghosts at any time. So that is something you always have to watch out for, especially when you get ghost orbs as evidence, which we have not seen ghost orbs. So at this point, we easily rule out a Mimic, um, though we are going to double check for Ghost Orbs regardless. And uh, we do see something has just happened. If you notice it, the breaker is currently off. Uh, that does rule out a ghost. A Jin cannot ever turn off the breaker. So we do get an evidence there. It is clearly not a Jin. Now, I, 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 this is still in my mind that I don't believe a mimic can mimic the abilities to be able to turn off the breaker or anything like that. I don't think so. I, I think that would be way overpowered and way too meta. That would be crazy if the, uh, like if the mimic could mimic the Obake's evidence, which would be the fingerprint. I don't think the ghost can. I think if it can, that would break the game. I have heard other people say otherwise. I have heard other people say that, yes, it absolutely can do that evidence and stuff, but I don't think that's true. And I mean, you're taking one word of a streamer against another one, and it's, I don't know. Where are you? I just think it would break the game. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you nearby? How old are you? Are you still here? Where are you? You are clearly still here and you are freezing. Freezing up the wazoo. 
we got freezing temperatures. So while that's a good thing because we actually rule out several ghosts there, uh, we will double check one more time for orbs because freezing does not rule out the, um, well, that was a hell of an event. Um, cause freezing does not rule out that that was another throw. Uh, mimic. I'm trying to say this and this ghost is going nuts. And a door touch. Hold on. Oh, okay, I was about to say something's missing from this picture. Never mind. Okay, I don't see orbs. I'm gonna go ahead and say this isn't a mimic. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let me just step outside for a second and change my pants. Wow. I think we know what this ghost is now. <laughs> Several ghost events. I need to take some pills. <laughs> okay, normally I would take pills. Oh dear lord, this has to be a hunt to. Um, th this ghost is not hunted, but it has done so many events. I'm gonna say this is probably a Hantu. Uh, we're gonna double check how far that freezing is because a Hantu will give like the lowest temperatures. Um, and a demon hunts at 70%. However, it has an ability that it can hunt whenever the hell it feels like it. Uh, so more than likely, this is a Hantu. We're gonna try to see the Hantu's freezing breath as it hunts as well. It's, it's a tough thing to see, but if we can get it to loop, we might be able to see it. We're gonna go ahead and get a crucifix in. Another ghost of it. This is not a ghost of it. This is a hunt. That was a ghost of it. What the hell? This ghost is crazy, man. This ghost is absolutely insane. It is doing so many ghost events outside of its room. It has moved. It has moved. Son of a bitch, it's hallway now. Okay, seems to be hallway now. No, oh, it did touch the door here. Wait, we got cold breath again. This ghost is roaming so much. Dude, buddy, take, take a chill pill, please. Relax for a second. Okay, it's definitely still in there. It's crazy how much this ghost is roaming. Extremely active, Hantu. Ooh, I'm glad I dropped that in there. Okay. We do have music box, so we can force the hunt. Um, which is good. Sure. Let's go ahead and force a hunt and let's listen for the speed increase. I'm just going to turn on a few lights here. Let's see. This thing could easily roam out of its room and kill me. Or it could just attempt to hunt. It did not. It freaking turn off the breaker. Okay. This ghost is pissing me off. <laughs> Let's go grab another flashlight. Ay, ay, ay. I'm glad I brought so many flashlights. This ghost seems to actually be acting like a different ghost, which is having me question whether or not I didn't see orbs. And I haven't seen orbs. Okay. Um, so a couple of things we're going to test for during the hunt. I uh, When we smudge it, when we smudge it, if we need to, I'm going to count down from 90 seconds. If it hunts before 90 seconds is up, it's a demon. However, if the ghost is faster from its room, it's a hantu. So it's that simple. Be a fairly quick an easy ghost um, during a hunt. Let's go ahead and do this. 
I'm just gonna break it. Is it a demon? Peekaboo! Is it just a demon? That's definitely normal speed. Seems like it's just a demon. Okay, 138.45 is when we smudged, uh, so we're looking for 139 about. A demon can hunt at uh, the 90 second, uh, the 60 second mark. So 138.45, 139.45 is going to be a demon. So let's see. We got 10 seconds before a demon can hunt. This is to see its ability right here. 139.45. A demon can hunt. We just got unlucky with the, uh, on too cold. Possibly. This normal ghosts can hunt in just a few seconds. Still not hunting. I mean, I didn't run the uh, music box for very long, so I don't think it would have actually... Um... Oh, there is a crucifix burn right there. Lights turned off. I believe a demon is six seconds for the crucifix touch. I believe they can do it again after just a few seconds. I did not hear it come out of its room, which is unfortunate. All right, hold on. Um, let's go get... A, um, smudge. <laughs> I couldn't think of what the hell I needed. Um, okay. So it's definitely in the every single ghost can hunt range now. Try to listen for its speed increase. And it turned off the freaking breaker again. Okay. It is a completely different speed this time. A completely different speed. Was it just cold everywhere? I am now double guessing if it's a mimic because Okay, now it's normal speed. This would have to be a Hantu then, right? It's going to be speeding up because the house is getting colder. Done. All right. That was that was very interesting because it was slower initially and then it sped up at one point. But the only ghost in the game that can start slower and speed up, I uh, 
is between that and Amoroi. And Amoroi is sanity based and uh, we got UV and we got freezing. So unless this is a mimic mimicking Amoroi, is that possible at this point? Hmm. You know it is. Um, let's see. So the ghost has moved. Oh, now this is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Um, because it was a different speed each hunt so far. This has got me double, double guessing whether or not it's going to be a mimic now. So the breaker's off. That should bring us to 50. I think we'll be OK. Um, breaker is. Oh, yeah, breaker is off. Not seeing ghost orbs. OK, yeah, we don't see ghost orbs. <laughs> the basketball with the shadow all right i'm gonna say this this is a hantu i think the house was actually cooling off at that point it definitely had a speed difference between uh, each hunt because it killed the breaker so the the house would be getting colder at that point Was indeed Welcome a hunter. I prepared some jobs for you. I did say that one would be a little bit faster. It was. Oh, who's the idiot who left uh, the hit list on the entire time? Me. <laughs> I was just looking at it, going, "Hmm, I wonder what this could be." Hmm, there's nothing on screen. Hmm. Ooh, gameplay. Oops. All right, well, that was a Hantu, and I never started a prediction, so. <laughs> well, that was a scuffed. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get a prediction this time. Actually close the hit list this time. It's a problem with watching two screens. Nobody told me. There's no gameplay. Is that an interesting Hantu? It was so interesting. It looked like a hit list the entire time. All right. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's go, um, it's just, uh, yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm doing at this point. <laughs> let's just go to Tanglewood again. Moron. <laughs> Somebody needs to be there to tell me, hey, that's not on. We've arrived. All right. Let's actually have a good one this time, please. Gonna hunt to? All right, let's try to get this one quick. Uh, we have an ad break, so we can take a quick break. Why didn't someone tell me my ass was so big? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I haven't updated the death counter, but that's okay. That was on challenge mode. That None of that counted anyway. <sighs> Waiting for the ants. Waiting for the ants. We're just waiting on the ants. I don't know how anybody could run like two minute ads. One minute ads is too much for me. I mean, I could just shut them off, but it gives me like a dollar a month. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's get in there. We have an immediate throw and we have found the ghost room. Well, that was easy. All right, let me drop everything in there. Let's go turn on the breaker. Oh, that was cool. We immediately got the ghost room. Uh, breaker's downstairs. Breaker has two locations in Tanglewood. One's in the garage and one is downstairs. There we go. Let's see, what do we got? We don't have the Ouija board. We do have hiding over there. Uh, what I 
do is at least, at the very least, turn on this one and the living room. Just to give main ones. It threw a shoe at me, honestly. Threw a boot. Gave me the boot. <laughs> ah, it is not the music box. It is not monkey paw. It's gotta be summoning circle then. Oh, it's not summoning circle. I walked right past it. Uh, it'd be voodoo doll. Or it could be monkey. Or it could be tarot. It is not tarot. Let's see. Is it monkey? It is not monkey. It must be voodoo doll. Voodoo doll works very well with the tier three crucifix. I do not have a tier three crucifix, so voodoo doll would be dangerous right now. We will keep it in the kitchen just in case I need to use it. Okay. We know where the ghost is, so let's go grab some evidence items. Both throws right off the bat. This could be Pulte. This could be, um, uh, well, we got Nancy. Nancy Wheeler. Um, so we got, let's see, bring that, that, and that. A few throws here and there. I mean, it doesn't prove anything, but it does kind of help. I mean, it gave away the ghost room immediately, so that was a good thing. Let's see, is it still in here? Oh, it is still in here. That little flashing shows that the ghost is at the very least in the area. We will double check if this is ghost room. Temperature should rise out here. And it does, and it should lower in here. Lower. There you go. Perfect. Exactly on cue. Ghost is now not doing anything while I'm in here. This could be a shade. Could be. Where are you? Immediately threw something at me. T it looks like three. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you nearby? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you French? Are you Canadian? Where are you? Where are you? Another throw. How old are you? Where are you? Okay, more than likely not spirit box. A bunch of throws. This could be Pulte, could be Oni. Uh, we can set up a Pulte pile. We might as well. Won't harm anything. This is definitely throwing a bunch of stuff. So let's get this all. Let's go ahead and build a little house here for you. I can't do that. That was just floating. So then, uh, we got a little pile. What we're going to look for is it touching one object as opposed to hitting the entire pile. If it hits the entire pile, it's a poltergeist. If it just touches one, like in the bottom, then uh, we can rule out the poltergeist. Well, not entirely, but we can at least rule down the poltergeist. Why will this not sit still? There we go. Good enough. All right, let's see. Do we have freezing? We do not have freezing. We also don't have any spirit box and we don't have any ghost writing. Let's go get our video camera and regular camera. Start getting some pictures, get some evidence. Probably gonna be ghost orbs then. I don't think this would be a shade at this point because it did do a couple of throws while I was in the room. Um, though it hasn't done any ghost events, so can't really rule out the shade at that point. Now, if a shade were to, to uh, do a ghost event right now, if the ghost were to do a ghost event right now, I would say it's not a shade. And a door touch. There we go. Uh, we got nothing on that. Oh, and it also touched this one immediately after. Nothing. Touching a bunch of doors. Not getting anything. Okay, so we have no fingerprints. Ghost is shaved off its fingers. No fingerprints. Okay, let's just go ahead and drop that there. Let's look for Orbeez, which I almost guarantee we're going to see. And I pretty much guaranteed it, and there it is. All right. Definitely have Orbeez. 
We got ghost swords. That does rule out a shade. However, that does not rule out the mimic. Mimicking a shade. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, we're going to have to kind of rule out the uh, Banshee as well. Well, not rule out, but... um, Try to get it ruled down to being a Banshee. You know, initially it wasn't following me, so I would say it's probably not a Banshee. Uh, but we're going to do this to rule out a Banshee. We're going to see if this thing is walking all over the place. some salts where I can. Okay, give me a sign. Yeah, I haven't seen any fingerprints. You just, you just do it every time. Every time. I don't know what it threw, but that definitely was not, okay, not EMF 5. It's, it's, oh, oh, it threw that. Oh, wow. It threw that a distance. Yeah, it threw that a distance. Um, this could very well be a, um, a poltergeist. It can't be a poltergeist. This could just be a mimic. So we should see freezing. We should see UV. And we should have spirit box. What is it doing? It touched the pile. Nothing went flying. Is Wraith a possibility? No, Banshee is, though. Has it stepped in any salt? It is not freezing. Oh! Stepped in salt. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's no UV. Okay, what are we missing? We're missing dots. Dots, dots, dots. Dots would be banshee. A dots, 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 dots. Let's just line up the entire area with dots. This could just be dots, and it could just be a banshee. It has yet to leave the room. Hello? All right. Should definitely cover the entire room easily. That was EMF three. That was this bear. Thrown quite a distance, I should say. Uh, it is officially walked out, but not anywhere else. Was that dots? I think we just saw dots. Wait a tick. Can it be a Gorio? It cannot be a Gorio, so we can stay in the room. Give me a sign. Show yourself. We got an EMF 3. I don't know what it touched. It did something. Ooh, that's spooky. I didn't know you could open that. Could be a thing that's just aged. Um, but what are we looking for at that point then? Just dots? Give me a sign, show yourself, do something. Yeah, definitely no, no UV. Oh, it was indeed dots. All right. Oh, wow, that does not rule it down very well. Uh, there's there's a lot of activity going on. Uh, dots rules on a mimic. Cannot be a mimic at this point. Give me a sign. I think at this point, I don't know. I don't know if I need to watch out for like the um, uh, the banshee walking into me. I mean, singing singing ghost event stuff. It hasn't done any ghost events. So we're going to have to start... Oh, 
Dang it, it wouldn't let me flip to it. It's showing itself a lot of the dots. All right, let's go grab some more salt. I don't know if we can set up a pile right in the middle just to take some pictures. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Wow, that's a heck of a list. Right now, it's just doing throws. I don't think this is a thing. Um, and we're on nightmare, so we only get two evidence. Um, we could go in and listen for Banshee scream. I mean, that won't harm us at all. Uh, Ure, has it done its Ure ability if it's a Ure? Um, it also hasn't gotten very upset, and I've been talking a lot. I'm gonna say it's not a yokai. Let's go ahead and grab salt and paramite. Trying to see. Missed it. Missed it. But you notice it came from outside of its room. Uh, that's a pretty sussy thing. Oh, we had a double door touch, I believe. I think that may have been a double door touch that also was not walking towards me. Oh, curious about that one. Okay, I mean, nothing about that. Uh, that could have been a double door touch. It certainly sounded like it. We're just gonna stand in here and listen for a banshee scream. Give me a sign. Do something. We're gonna. Oh hi! You you walked right towards me. I know they're supposed to do that, but it just seems suspicious. Give me a sign. Why is that so loud? <laughs> You are the worst. Stop it. Give me a sign. Do something. I do you something. Backwards talking. And a door touch. And a door touch. I mean, it's doing a ton of little things. Did a couple of ghost events. Oh, I don't like that. Why is that bear's head backwards? I don't like it. That's two. Okay. Uh, is Moroi? No, Moroi's not on the list. Okay. Moroi would be dangerous with uh, several whispers because it just lowers your sanity quite a bit. And then it curses you, which lowers your sanity by even more. Constantly. Give me a sign. So we need uh, two more whispers? Two more whispers to rule out a banshee? It doesn't completely rule out a banshee, but it is pretty darn close. Nancy. <laughs> That's three. All right, one more. One more and I believe we can rule out a Banshee. Give me a sign. Come on. Give me a sign. Emma. Emma, give me a sign. Do something. Show yourself. <laughs> 
Give me a sign. <clears throat> Give me a sign. It's stopped doing paramic. Give me a sign. Is it still in the room? Looks to be. Give me a sign. Yeah, it's definitely still in the room. Give me a sign. You're the Spider Man. Door touch. Give me a sign. Okay. Going to go ahead and say more than likely not a banshee. Let us grab a smut. All right. Well, we have just figured out what the ghost is. <laughs> there was no ghost event. There was nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There was a ghost event at one point on the outside. Keep that in mind, though. The Yurei is the only ghost in the game that's able to shut the front door at any time without being a ghost event. So if there's not a ghost event and the door is shut, then it is a Yurei. I'm going to go ahead and rule out the Banshee. Um, so during a hunt, what we're looking for between this group here is um, Banshee would just be normal speed, entirely normal. Nothing you'd be able to be out of the ordinary there. Um, other than it hunting from somewhere near you, as opposed to hunting from its room. Uh, a Yure, there's really nothing that would give away that it's a Yure during a hunt. Um, Yokai is the one that would have no idea where you're at um, until you were run on top of it. Raiju would be faster with electronics. We have quite a bit of room. Uh, a Thay would right now be extremely slow because I've been standing in this ghost room for quite a bit. So that's what we're going to watch out for. And uh, we're going to go ahead and force a hunt with the summoning circle. I believe that's what we have. Um, but yeah, that front door was shut. And I know for a fact I did not shut it. See what we got. We don't have the summoning circle. Okay. Oh, that's right. We have voodoo doll. We have voodoo. Who do the voodoo that you do? You could indeed be a banshee because you just did that from in here. And again, you did. Oh, okay. And there's EMF going off in the room. Okay. Okay. This could be as simple as a banshee then. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say this is a banshee. Um, that was extremely suspicious. <laughs> Me being in the kitchen and the ghost being in there for some reason. Did it just do a favorite room change, maybe? <laughs> It just didn't give the Banshee scream. So the Banshee scream is a 33% chance. So you're never guaranteed to get it, but usually it's four of them. That ghost was just roaming wherever the hell it felt like it then. Uh, but that was indeed a Banshee. So uh, it's going to say a lot of abilities used. Yep. So basically what it was doing was following me as I was moving around and then they would do an event and it would kind of sit there and it would wait. And then as soon as I got back into the house, it would roam back to its room and then roam back to me wherever I was at. So as soon as I went down into the uh, basement and then went back up, what it did was roam into the hallway there and then it waited. And then what I believe it did was start going back to its room. And then I went upstairs because the the way that the ghost works is that they're based off of level. So I was downstairs, so it didn't know where to track me. So it just walked off towards me and then roamed. Uh, so it roamed to the kitchen and then it waited for me like it didn't know what to do. So it just kind of roamed to the kitchen and then I came up and then it did ghost event and then it did ghost event and then it walked back to its room. 
So the Banshee will be following you at all times. It was very suspicious it having those events sitting there, especially because I had not been in the kitchen until right then. So that is what to look out for when you have a Banshee single player. That's what to look out for when you have a Banshee single player. Uh, Banshee, Phantom, and Wraith. You will see things like that happen. A multiplayer, one person might see that happen constantly to them. Uh, but that is the suspicion of the uh, Banshee there. Go ahead and go back to Ridgeview. Uh, and we did mark off the Banshee. The Banshee is a new ghost. We are getting down on the hit list here. We are knocking out ghosts left and right. Get a new prediction. Trying to make these as fast as possible. Right, it's just... These ghosts the are being... Fussy. But we are nailing them. We are nailing them. That and that. <laughs> Banshee will choose a player that gives the best screams. You know, that is somewhat true. It does chase Sabrina quite a bit. <laughs> Hello, Intricity. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Let's get some lights turned on first. Uh, we don't have the voodoo now. Eh, it just sucks that I didn't get the Banshee scream. I had three whispers and it just didn't want to do it. The Banshee scream is, is difficult for me to get. Like, I just don't get it very often. I think it's only been like four times or so. But, uh, you give me a Diogen and I will get it to do its ability. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We got the breaker on. You saw it was in the secondary location downstairs. Uh, let's go ahead and look for the cursed. Uh, it was not in there, so it's probably going to be upstairs or it's going to be tarot cards. It is not tarot cards. I uh, haven't heard anything yet. I mean, we can start the sweep upstairs. And of course, on Nightmare or um, or higher, these doors being open is completely meaningless. Like that doesn't help at all. Was that possibly, that was possibly a throw. It sounded like that could have been some, yeah, it sure was. All right, we got purple room. Ghost is in here. See the cold breath, cold breath is a giveaway. It threw a mug, mug. All right, it got mugged. Let's go ahead and grab some evidence. All right. So what do we have before? We had a Hantu before. Uh, we had a Hantu before that actually was kind of acting like a demon or kind of acting like a... It was acting like an Oni and then finally got the Oni airball to knock it out. It was a very interesting one. Uh, but we did nail it with the Hantu because it was slower. It was normal speed the first hunt and then it was slower the second hunt. Very strange. While the breaker was off, it was actually slower. Uh, but we still got it right. Wasn't really even a wild guess. It was just... I heard it speed up as soon as it went up back up the stairs. I went, you know what? It's got to be a Hantu. And it was. All right, where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? You're close. Where are you? Are you French? Are you Canadian? Where are you? It does answer to that. Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be roaming because it just hit that. So it's not roaming. So it's in here. It is not freezing, not spirit box. Okay, let's go grab our video camera. Did I seriously only bring two items up? Uh, did I forget the video camera? I think I might have just left the video camera in the truck. Oopsies. Did I just not bring it? I put it on there and I never brought it. Good. Good. That was perfect. 
Okay, so let's bring those. I should bring the crucifix next, but this ghost hasn't shown that it really needs a crucifix yet. God, yeah, I had a Hantu that just did event after event after event. And then we had a, oh, what was it right before that? Uh, that's a ghost orb right there. Nice, nice. Um, we had a, uh, was that a Yuri? No, it was a mare. It was a mare who moved rooms five times in a 20 minute investigation. Absolutely crazy. Okay, we got no door touches. Kind of have to, have to listen for that. Let's go ahead and shut that off and drop that there. We go ahead and get a crucifix in. Um, I have not seen the cursed item, have I? I didn't take a picture of it. Oh, uh, let's see. We need to repel and capture a photo. So we do need the photo, which I have a photo camera up there. And oh, we do have this. I mean, clearly we see Ghost Storm. And I have not marked off the evidence. That's what I forgot to do. Let me make sure to do that from now on. OK, so we have all this crew. Plus, we have the uh, mimic, of course. That is still possible unless we see dots ghost riding or EMF-5. <clears throat> uh, Mimic cannot give any of those three. Alright, nothing going on. All right. Nito, Nito, Nito. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our crucifix. Let's grab salt. Um, it would also be beneficial at this point. A sound sensor might help just to hear ghost riding if it does it late, but I normally don't have that issue. All right, let's just go ahead and bring crucifix and salt. That room is lit up. <laughs> you want to make that absolutely perfect? Not that sound for sure. Don't do that. Jesus. Oh. <sighs> um. Jeez. Jesus Christ. No. Don't do the bear. I, okay, I, that's going to be my next emote is a bear. Me just saying, no, don't do the bear. We have freezing temperatures. All right, ghost orbs in freezing. Uh, we haven't seen UV, but it hasn't touched a door yet, which is unfortunate. Give me a sign. Go ahead and turn this on just to make sure I don't burn sanity here. I know it can't be the book because uh, that is our two evidence. We are, of course, on Nightmare. Give me a sign. Touch a door. Uh, and we do know since it's those two, we do not need the dots anymore. And those are annoying anyway. Go. Go. OK. That was a sign. Wow. That was crazy. Okay, we also try Spirit Box one more time. Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you nearby? How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Oh my lord, this thing is throwing things all over the place and it's not the throwers. Touch the door. Pick, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Thank you. No, nothing, nothing. Okay, that would rule out the mimic. Excellent. Okay, so we do rule out a mimic with that. Revenant, Yure, Hantu, Unreal. None of these guys actually do this craziness with throws. Um, well, None of them are giveaways with that. So Rev is speed based. Hantu is speed based. On real, we have ruled out once already tonight. Uh, Yure is door based. Let's see if we get another Yure with the door. 
whack me with the door, please? Uh, it also hasn't stepped in salt. So it hasn't left the room. You sure we got ghost orbs? Yeah, we got ghost orbs. I mean, it could, could still be a mimic. Just not giving the evidence that we need. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Okay. Has officially stepped in salt. That's good. Okay. And also gave the door a touch. And there's clearly no UV. We could also get the UV footsteps. Uh, there's no UV. So it's standing here. It is standing right here. Okay, ghost. Hello. What are you doing? Why are you just standing here? You just here to creep me out? How, how did it avoid that salt? It's, it's in the hallway now. How did you avoid that? Look. How? How on earth did you avoid that? To do a room change? Oh, you know what? Is it... Wait. Has it moved? It's moved a hallway. Okay, so it moved... It's cold? No, it's warmer in there. It's warmer out there than it is in here. Now... Is that like a clear indication that this is a Hantu? Like the cold breath follows you? I know the cold breath follows the ghost. So is it monkey? <gasps> monkey. It's indeed monkey. <laughs> wow, I panicked and I took a picture of nothing. Nice. Very nice. See, now there's cold breath there. Is that like a dead giveaway that this is a Hantu? Now I am extremely curious because this room is still very cold. Is that... Does that seriously... Does the Hantu seriously do that? And there's the not an Oni air breath? Air, air breath? Wait, is that a word? Air breath. This could just very well be a hunt. If this is a Hantu, then we've discovered something very suspicious that I have never seen in this game before. I don't think I've ever seen, like, the cold breath follow you. Like, this ghost has been going from room to room, and every event, I've noticed cold breath after the event. Yeah, I mean, that was a panic click. I should have clicked a hell of a lot faster. I just did not. Um... So we got monkey. Couple of things we could do with that. We can wish for knowledge and hope for the best. Which is always a bad idea. Or we could simply wish for sanity and it would change the ghost room, which really wouldn't matter too much. Um, Cause I mean, I have a smudge stick with me regardless, but then that would lower me to 50% sanity, which would be perfect for every single one of these to hunt and at this point I mean I assume it's a hantu because I've had cold breath everywhere else that this ghost has been doing things maybe the hantu lowers the temperature of the room enough to be able to cause that I mean that would be cool I mean if that's a thing that's neat I think that could be a thing. And it's turned off the breaker. Okay, well that changes the plans of this since I've already screwed up a picture. Let's just go ahead and grab a flashlight. Yeah, let's go turn that breaker back on. It was downstairs to the left. It was back and to the left. Excuse me? What? What the hell is this doing here? Isn't that normally upstairs? This ghost is absolutely insane. <laughs> what the hell? This... This is, uh... 
This is a crazy one. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Ghost is just touching doors wherever the hell it wants. Turn the lights on and off. Just doing your own thing. All right. Neat. It's just doing his thing. There's cold breath right here. Okay. Wait. It is still beyond freezing there. This has to be a hauntoon. That has to be a hidden ability of it. If this is not a hauntoon, I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be a little miffed. We we've discovered something very interesting if that is indeed what this is. And I would love for that to be true. Um, so I could what wish to see the ghost and then it would start a hunt after? Right? That's that's the way that that one works. We could do that. Because the wishing for sanity would just lower it to 50 and then it would move the ghost room. Wishing to see the ghost would spawn it where it's at and then do a hunt. I wish to see the ghost. Yeah, because this will start a hunt. It's a hunt too. Yeah, because now it's slower. Absolutely, that's a hantu. That is extremely neat. Because Revenant would be a lot slower than that. Uh, in a hunt, yeah, Revenant would be a lot slower and it wouldn't have that speed increase at any time until it saw us. So we have seen something very interesting that I've never noticed before. So the hantu's breath actually follows it with them. And it's going to speed up as soon as it gets up the stairs. There you go. That's the Hantu's ability. And it also, anytime there's a ghost event, you will have freezing breath. That is so cool. So that is definitely a hidden thing that I've never known about until just now. That is really neat. Um, I think we need to capture a photo of the ghost or whatever, but I've already screwed up several pictures. <laughs> I've already, I've already gotten pictures of nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, that's indeed a Hantu. And, uh, well, at least you got to hear the speed of the Hantu coming out of its room. And, and a little bonus there. Its breath actually follows it. And there's an ad as soon as I said that. Welcome back. Like for bed, that is here. neat. I didn't know it had that. That is neat. Everybody got raided in the exact same, exact same thing. <laughs> That's quite funny. All right, so the Hantu has that little hidden ability then. That's very interesting. I was not aware of that. And it did change its room once, but yeah, after a ghost event, if you have freezing breath or cold breath, it's more than likely a Hantu. That is very interesting. All right, we knocked the Hantu off the list. Let's see. We have actually had a Hantu. Well, that's um, not surprising at all because I did have one. <laughs> that's right. We had the Hantu. Um... Was it a Thay? No, we had a Thay during the, the uh, weekly challenge. 
Get another prediction started there. Do we think it's going to be a new one? Do we think it's going to be a repeat? Pretty few ghosts off so far. Let's get rolling right back into it. Go back into Tanglewood. Hello, Twizzy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Right. Oh, thank you for the tab. Appreciate it. Hope you have a good night. Uh, and we'll bring that. That is so interesting that the Hantu has that little ability. So I, I always knew that the Hantu had the cold breath or whatnot that follows it around as it hunts. And you can see that um, as it hunts. But it also does that during ghost events. That is so interesting. Like after a ghost event, you will see freezing or cold, cold breath. Wow. Hi. You're in there. Very cool. Very cool because it's a hunt. <laughs> Kill myself. All right, there we go. Got the breaker on. Uh, it is not summoning circle and it is not. I. Uh, whatever the hell else is down there. Ouija board. <laughs> I'm tired. I can't remember things. Uh, it is Voodoo Doll. Voodoo Doll. All right. You know what I haven't run into? I have not run into the bone. Every single time, I have not run into the bone. I mean, I'm not specifically looking for it. I'm just trying to do, like, quicker investigations. They aren't very quick because... I usually don't go very fast when I do these things. All right. Well, we know what's in the kitchen. Uh, we could definitely get a photo camera and actually get pictures of it this time. Get some salt. Um, actually try to get a perfect this time. So we're still going to have to get the ghost right, of course. So far, it's like immediately a couple of throws. So here's what we'll do. We'll do one, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Damn, there you go. Immediately stepped in salt. Um, well, that rules out a wraith right off the bat. Wraiths cannot step in salt. Let's get out and get a photo camera and we'll get some evidence items. Also get a crucifix in this time. I'm just going to go ahead and throw these into the house. We'll grab them as we come out. Save a little bit more time. And getting all this evidence items and stuff into the house, it just takes forever solo. It really does. Get there. Go ahead and take pictures immediately of this. Okay. Get some more stuff in and we rule out the wraith with that. I'm not going to go ahead and mark it off because I should be able to remember that. And if I don't remember that, I'm crazy. Go ahead and grab the main evidence items. Um, and then I use the tier one glow stick because it gives a AOE range. So it's much easier to see. Even though they did uh, silently nerf it. Uh, it's still a lot easier to see than it is uh, anything else, really. Okay, let's make sure the ghost is in here before I hit this. It is ghost writing. The ghost is definitely right there. Damn. Okay. Could be more. <laughs> it could be a mare. Sorry. Could be a mare. I did not risk the picture this time. All right. It is not UV because there's no UV shown. This is uh, a little crazy, if you ask me. Okay, let's see if it's in dining. It didn't seem to be actually in the kitchen. No, oh, this could actually be garage. Because that was definitely garage. It's just, uh, no, it, the temperature is dropping. Okay, so it is in here. Hey, okay, we didn't get the picture of the ghost, which is unfortunate. 
But that's okay. We didn't waste any pictures. It's good so far. Oh, we got interaction. We have to take one more picture of the uh, ghost writing. Uh, we don't need a ghost photo, but I mean, we can definitely try to get one. All we need is three more pictures. We did get um, ghost writing. So we have this crew here. So a couple of throws early could be one of them. Could be poltergeist. Could be mayor because it broke the light. Um, mares are just more more consistent to break the lights because they don't like lights. It's not a guarantee it's a mare. It's a guarantee it's a mare if it flips the light switch off immediately without being a ghost of it. All right, let's look for Orbeez. Can't hit it. There it is. Uh, don't think there's any orbs. I may have to grab the camera and look around so we could see it clipping somewhere. So far, it doesn't look like there's any orbs. Um, and that immediately rules out of it completely. Either way, Ghost Riding rules out of Mimic. So we don't have a Mimic. Uh, we also don't have Ghost Orbs. Um, we do need to get the dots in there. And what else? I mean, we need to test Spirit Box again. We need to make sure for sure that it's in that room. And we also need to stop saying need so much. Uh, it's just bring a motion sensor, sure. Why not? Bring a motion sensor. Just be sure that this thing is actually in here. <laughs> but all I can think of. That should fully cover the room. Did we turn on this light? We did not turn on this light. This is not a mare. Mares cannot turn on lights. And the ghost is also in there. So this is not a mare, which is a little surprising. All right, we gotta get everything into here now. Cause the ghost is definitely in there. The ghost is definitely in there, thank you. I know you're in here, hold on, let me get my equipment. Hang on one second, please. Get all my equipment. Moving in here. Yeah. Let's get a crucifix in there. That is not a crucifix. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see. As we walk into this room, watch the temperature drop. There you go. It's dropping very quickly. Throw that right on the car there. Uh, I think we're okay with the rest. But drop that there. Just move the camera over here and move the flashlight here. Move these out of the way, please. I can't see. There we go. Oh, I need the camera. Hold on. We gotta take a picture of that. That's right. And then... Have I gotten a picture of the voodoo doll? No, I have not. There we go. Poor thing sat upside down like that. All right, we got all three star. We're good with photos. Okay, so we're still watching for uh, all the other evidence. Uh, all right, let's get this in there. Look for ghost orbs. <gasps> shadow event. Shadow event. I don't think this is a shade. However, that would have definitely lowered my sanity enough for a shade to do its stuff. All the ghost events is done. It is ghost orbs. Ghost orbs have shown up now. Oops, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Help! Help! Right. Okay. Hello? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> ghost, ghost is apparently right there. <laughs> ghost is trying to do an event on the outside of the house. That was uh, very interesting. All right, let me uh, <laughs> let me see if this works real quick. <laughs> let me clip that. <laughs> that was uh, that was quite funny. Just did that on the outside of the house. All right, so we got ghost orbs uh, and we got ghost riding. So this is a mare Reverthe. Uh, it is not a mare because it has turned on the garage lights. So this is down to a Reverthe. This one might be a little bit tricky because this is both speed based. So if we're hiding and the ghost is slow, it's a Revenant. If we're hiding and the ghost is slow, it could be a Thay. <laughs> However, if we peek our head up and it doesn't change speed, it's a Thay. Uh, that will bring it down to those two ghosts, regardless. Uh, all right, let's grab some smudges. And, um, so here's, here's what we're watching for. So a revenant is extremely slow when you're hiding. As soon as it sees you, it becomes very fast. A thay ages over time, so it will start really fast and slow down as long as you're in the room with it. It ages uh, once per minute or whatever. As long as you're in the room with it. All right, shot the breaker. Great. Go get the breaker real quick. We definitely don't want the breaker off. We want to be able to see what this ghost is doing. Breaker being off is typically a bad sign. You're going to have a bad time if the breaker's off. Okay. We could Sammy it, so we could use the Voodoo Doll. Which probably is the best option. Uh, we can actually grab a couple more smudges just in case. Just a case, because if we do hit the heart, it's going to be a much longer than usual hunt. Who knows if we can get to a hiding spot in time. We also haven't looked for hiding spots. I literally just did. There is hiding right there. All right. So that'll work. Kitchen would work. Well, Kitchen isn't exactly a hiding spot, it's just a looping spot, so it would at least partially help. Let me go ahead and drop a smudge here. Uh, this is just in case all hell breaks loose, which is possible. Drop the smudges over there. All right. Is that a crucifix burn? That was not a crucifix burn. That was... Just a breaker. Okay. Stop doing that, please. I would most appreciate if you didn't do that. All right. Where is my Wudu doll? Wudu doll, where are you? Wudu, there you are. Pick that up, please. There we go. All right. Let's see. Oh my god, it immediately starts being annoying. Immediately. You just immediately were the most annoying ghost in the world. Alright, let's shut off these damn things. These are so loud and annoying. There we go. Now we can hear ourselves think. Now we can hear if it's a rep or a thay. This fucking ghost. This fucking ghost. Knock it off! <laughs> Please. For the love of God, stop it! Alright. Got things off.
That is a revenant. As soon as I pop my head up, it's going to be very fast. Yep, that's a revenant. Holy hell. I may be in trouble. I may be in trouble. I may be dead. I may be dead. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's a revenant. Very slow when hiding, and as soon as you pop your head up or show yourself, it goes very fast. <laughs> I think this went. Bu -bu 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 -bu. It's like, uh oh, I missed my smudges. This will be a slightly longer hunt because it was a uh, cursed hunt. Think it's done? It's done. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that is a revenant. So you see, it was extremely slow when I was hiding, and as soon as I popped my head up, it was extremely fast. It's, of course, the revenant's ability there. One of the most obvious ghosts. I win, well, when you are expecting between a really fast ghost and a really slow ghost. Welcome back. I prepared some is a giveaway. You. All right, let's see what we had. We had 76% lost. Uh, favorite room change of one. So yeah, it did indeed change this room at one time. Four events. Uh, but you see, that was a 15 minute one as opposed to all the other really long ones that I've had. Uh, and that was Tangwood. We'll go back again to Ridgeview. Pull up the hit list, knock out the Revenant. Another new ghost knocked off the list there. Um, and you also see the ability of the Revenant there. See its speed increase. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly. Before Hopefully getting some uh, good info from these guys, especially that Hantu uh, tidbit that I never knew it did that. Uh, who do we have? We have Judy Douglas. 827. I'm nearing the uh, 888 mark, or if anything special, a thousand mark. That would be a thousand. Let's just bring our standard three until I get the uh, tier three head cam. I could always use the tier two head cam just to make this a little bit quicker. I love the floating flashlight in the background. Uh, we have that extra hiding spot. That's pretty good. I have died so many times in that hiding spot. I do not use it. <laughs> it's piano, it's fridge, it's hope for the best. That's basically what it is on Ridgeview. Uh, we have the summoning shit circle. All right, we have an ad break, so we will step out of the house. in a minute catch up here <laughs> another 20 seconds I'm surprised I haven't died yet. It's absolutely shocking. I think I just heard something upstairs. I haven't had any ghosts jump me yet. That's, that's the biggest point. Oh, three, two, one. Right, we were just enjoying the view from the front door there. It was wonderful. I believe I heard something from upstairs just a second ago. seeing a temperature drop. I need this ghost to do something, please. Give me a sign. I mean, I may not be in the right area at all, so may not get anything. 
Give me a sign. Am I close? Doesn't look like I'm close. Okay. Kind of go off like it would be colder. I the nearer you get to the ghost room, you'll notice like it will kind of drop, but it would typically stay like the ambient temperature. But if you're close to the ghost room, it will start dipping. Wait a second, is this the ghost room? No, however, I could be close. Is it here? Did I seriously walk past it? It's the garage. There's cock on the ground. Oh, wait, is it piano room? Which room are you actually in? Okay. You are definitely right here. All right. Let's do that. Bring in some evidence. I am okay. It's a piano player, apparently. Sorry, you're probably pretty talented in your life, but you did now. And now we get to investigate you. And see what you're capable. <laughs> is my lighting changed? What is going on? Knocked on the window? Is that what that was? That must have been that. That was a three star interaction photo. Okay, this has to be twins or yokai. Let me mute. If this thing is still active. You notice I stopped talking? Things stop happening? This could very well just be a yokai. Uh, that's my little patented reverse yokai test. Mute or don't say anything and notice how much less interactions you get. Uh, that's just if you're doing toggle or push to talk, of course, but uh, I mean, it could work elsewhere. Who knows? Um, what should we bring in next? Bring in a video camera. Because I believe we need ghost orbs for Yokai. If I'm remembering correctly, IIRC. Does nobody seriously know that saying? IIRC? I mean, I remember correctly. Not seeing any ghost orbs. We got ghost writing as our first evidence. Okay. And another piano. Ghost writing. Piano. Okay. Okay, ghost writing. That rules out the yokai. Interesting. Where are you? Wow. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it's spirit box. Ghost writing spirit box. Okay. There is so much going on. Holy cow. Let me go ahead and grab a smudge and a lighter. Uh, so we got our two evidence. Uh, Ghostwriting rules out a mimic, so I don't need to look for any more evidence. We have our two. Um, and we have a camera in there. So let's go ahead and litter the, litter, 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 litter the area with salt. We can get some salt pictures. All right, you seem to be going in between rooms. So let's go like this. Stop it. Stop it. Really does seem like it's just angry as I'm talking. That's 
That's so crazy. I think my sanity's low enough for Moroi to be doing things like that? I'm... It's very curious that it's just like so active. Bring smudges in and drop them next to me. Drop one on the table. Let's go ahead and do some Dio test in three, two, one. Where are you? From behind. How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you Canadian? Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? How old are you? Where are you? Wh what do you want? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you Canadian? Where are you? Where are you? Damn you. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Oops. Okay. Well, that rules out that one. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second. So we got, uh, it's definitely not a Dio. There's no way in hell. This could be a Moroi. I could have just been cursed 18 times. Who knows? Um, it did do quite a few throws, so it could be a poltergeist. <laughs> it keeps playing the piano, and it keeps going into the garage. Could just be going back and forth there. Oh, NYX Shadow Weaver, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, raiders. I think I may have just pissed off a Moroi. I may be in trouble. <laughs> welcome, raiders, welcome. Hello, my name is Anthony. I, uh, I, I pretty much play Faz, and that's about it right now. We're just having a blast. We're trying to learn all the ghost abilities here. We, um, we have not gotten a ghost wrong, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, as I said, I may have pissed off Amora here, so I may be in trouble, but we will see. Uh, we're, uh, going to get a hunt now. See what we got to deal with here. Uh, this is what we've got it down to. We're, of course, playing nightmare mode, so we only have two evidence. And uh, so far, I can definitely rule out a Dio. This is uh, I am the Dio killer, and I got about 30 responses, and it is not a Dio gen. It would have been pissed off at me by now. At least I would assume so. I did turn off a light. This could just be a mare. Threw some cock. That's all it's been doing is throwing cock. Um, was it summoning circle? I think it might have actually been summoning circle. You okay? Let's take some pictures. Uh, how many more pictures do I need? Okay, I still need two more. There we go. Alrighty then. I actually got a three star photo of the window. That was fantastic. Keeps turning on the computer, <clears throat> which does not rule out a mare anymore, which is unfortunate. Another ghost of it. Wow. All right, it's a crawling ghost. That's no good. Um, thank you. It keeps playing the piano over and over and over again. Did I say we had summoning circle? I think I said we had summoning circle. Yeah, we sure do. Okay, let's uh, do it. Let's go ahead and just light up a few. That should be plenty. Get this ghost to hunt here. And it attempted to hunt. Excellent. So now we got to move the crucifix. Mayor accepts playing games in the dark. It, I mean... Yeah, the mayor is more active in the dark, and I have noticed that, yes, ghosts are much more active when the lights are turned off. I will agree that that is a thing. It's just such an odd thing to me. 
turn on the thing again. Nope. <laughs> okay, was that a ghost event or was that a mare ability? Who could tell the difference there? I turned on a light switch, it turned it off immediately, but I heard a footstep. I'm going to say that was an event and not a mare ability. That was such a tough call. There was a footstep, so I think I got hit with an event. There was no breath or anything, and there was already all the salt down. So I'm going to say that was a footstep being an event and not the mare ability. I don't believe that this is a mare, but man, anybody could have been absolutely fooled by that right there. We'll see in the end whether or not it is a mare and I'm dead because of it. It keeps turning on that light. Well, this, sorry, not the light, the computer. It keeps turning on the computer. Oh shit, it's crawling. Holy hell, you're a poltergeist. <laughs> those, those plays just took off. Okay, and yeah, that's definitely a normal speed ghost, so it's not that one. Um, but those plates absolutely took off. We are going with Pulte on this one. We could attempt to get a Pulte pile as well. Um, I think I have all four pills. If I do, we, we can... We're doing it. That's what I'm saying. Might as well, might as well. Let's see, what do we need for objective? We need to detect with the paramic. Okay. Yeah, we have all four pills. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and, and fully pill up. So that'll take a few seconds for that to activate there. We'll also get the crucifix back in the room. Why does that look like a different color? <laughs> what the hell? Does it change colors down there? Why is it red? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's uh, get back in there. Alright, so... Clearly, that seemed to be a poltergeist. Uh, it threw things at such velocity that it would have killed a normal man. But we are not normal, are we? We are not. Not in this game. All right, let's go ahead and do that here and there. And let's do a little pulty pile. And watch it fling it before I'm even ready for it. Hey, we found the skull. It was in the trash can all along. <laughs> That's fantastic. It just calmly like just threw the skull right in the trash can. Weird people. Who just throws their skull away like that? Let's see if we can't get a pulty explosion. Is there anything in here I can throw? No, there isn't. All right, what else we got? I mean, we got the plates that are long gone by now. Who knows where this thing threw those? So a pulty explosion is never a guarantee. And I've actually only seen a few of them. Uh, I got a couple of them recorded. It is really tough to get a faulty explosion because it has to be like just the right circumstances. And the ghost really has to be willing to do it as well. Look at this plate. This plate is so far away. And there are two ghosts in the game that can throw that far. One of them is the Oni. And the only has the giveaway of not being able to do the airball event. So I better not hear a pulty explosion while I'm away from the area. Try to do as many things as possible here. Oops, we need that. <laughs> we we don't need to give him that. <laughs> I mean. 
you're you're not supposed to do the pulte pile in in, a, in an area because typically it doesn't work. You're actually supposed to do the loop around the table and whatnot. But the, the table is no fun. Table's no fun. You need to have an explosion just randomly. That's the funniest part. Okay, Ghost is still in there. We need it to come into here. What do we think? We think that's big enough? Nah, we need more. Ghost is in here. I mean, we just want to see what the poltergeist is capable of. That's what this is all about. See if we can, oh, it's in the room, it's in the room. Let's do it. Give me a sign, do something. Man, now it's in there. Let's go ahead and grab everything again. All right, let's do this. Let's move this camera. This is the biggest thing. It's like, I can't get it to do it while I'm in the room with it. I really have not seen it do it while I'm in the room with it. Because I think you need to have the lights off. I mean, the lights increase the chance of it. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Do something. Give me a sign. There we go. That'd be a lovely picture if we can get it. Give me a sign. Do something. Give me a sign. Shut these so I can see better. Give me a sign. Do something. Give me a sign. Oh, oh, give me a sign while you're sitting there, please. That is the perfect position. That is perfect. Stay right there. That's a lovely screenshot. All right, now do something. Come on. Ah, oh, that was weak. Okay, well, that wasn't quite a Pulte explosion. That was definitely a couple items. That was the weakest Pulte throw I've ever seen. Now I'm second guessing if this is a poltergeist. Son of a bitch. That was such a weak move. What was that, just one item on the very bottom? Come on, poltergeist, you can do better. I mean, this thing cleared the table. It, it, it is a poltergeist, it's just weak. Hear me? Poltergeist, you're weak. It's just to increase some activity. Come on, Poltergeist. Come on, Cletus. Uh, it's not gonna do it. <laughs> if I see one ability used, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> we got an ad break. So, I mean, we're gonna take a break here anyway. We do have a good view of it if it does happen. Move one thing from the bottom. That was just weak. It definitely threw it at the velocity of a poltergeist. The one tried to take my head off the <laughs> one stream. Just waiting out the ad as we're waiting. Watching for the poltergeist to do its thing. And I don't know if it increases activity as you're in the house. Maybe that increases the activity as well. It seems like some ghosts have more activity as you leave the house than they do as you enter. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and see. It's a poltergeist, um, and it did do the pulte explosion, but man, was it just weak. Weak, weak, weak. It definitely threw things very fast off of that table during the hunt. That's the easiest way to actually get the poltergeist to do its abilities. Um, Welcome back. And Welcome it was just not doing the, the massive explosion. 
which is unfortunate because those are the funniest things in the game to see. Um, it may not even have used an ability. And there you go. So that's the polter. See, that's the problem with the poltergeist, why you need to get it to hunt, uh, because sometimes you will just have the poltergeist not use its ability. And yeah, it could do big throws. So the reason why the whole pile kind of moved outwards is because it, it did a large throw. So it threw them really far or really hard. So it was enough to actually move the whole pile. Most of the ghosts wouldn't be able to nudge the pile at all. Besides like the poltergeist and Oni would be able to nudge that pile enough to actually see the pile kind of shift. Because I've seen a lot of them when I just did a pile and it just like one object goes like this. <laughs> But yeah, that is the Poltergeist, and that is the Poltergeist without the ability, unfortunately. That's two of them without the ability that we've uh, gotten. Unfortunate that we haven't gotten the ability. But uh, we'll go back to Tanglewood again and uh, continue on. And we did knock out a Poltergeist. Uh, we did indeed knock out the Poltergeist, another new ghost off that list. We are rolling now. 10 goes knocked off. Uh, let's see if we can't get four more before the end of the night here. Go ahead and get another prediction. Do we think it's going to be a new ghost? Do we think it's going to be a repeat? All right. And we see ghost orbs when we're done. Nice. All right. Grab the normal didgeridoo. Go ahead and grab the keys because so far we've had ghosts who love messing with the car. Uh, okay, breaker is downstairs. Uh, that may have just been a poltergeist ability right there. That sounded like multiple throws. Turn it on, please. Thank you. Uh, we do have the cursed mirror. The mirror is wonderful for finding exactly where the ghost is. However, I am pretty sure that I know where the ghost is. See, nothing moved. Nothing moved in here. Nothing moved in here. So it's in the, the uh, baby's room. Wait. Is that over here? That was over here. I was in the right room. Okay. Silly me! I just didn't see where the thrown objects were. Here. Oops, and I just flipped it upside down. Let's not do that, please. Thank you. All right, let's drop everything in here. And we got cold breath indicating exactly where the ghost room is. Yeah, if anybody has any questions or whatnot about the game, I will try to answer with the best I can. Um, I'm not by any means a professional. But I have played the game quite a bit, and I have seen some things, and I've heard some stuff. <laughs> I try not to backseat game myself, but I have seen people playing, and I keep yelling at them. And I'm screaming to myself, saying, why would you think that? It's like, no, it's not true. Um, but yeah, I don't mind anybody pointing things out saying no that's not how it is I mean we're not right 100% of the time and if we were we would be rich Which I am not <laughs> uh, it is not ghost orbs we're gonna have to double check that by taking the camera actually off because that is so tough to see where are you how old are you how are you friendly are you French? Are you Canadian? Ah, are you sexy? Are you horny? Where are you? Damn. From behind. How old are you? How old are you? Okay. So if it's a Moroi, I'm probably dead. Uh, but it wasn't Canadian, so that's unfortunate. Oh, did I forget to ask you a single? Oh, okay. I can ask her a single. I mean, sexy and horny. Are you single? Are, are you single? Where are you? Make sure it's still here. Where are you? How old are you? Are you single? Where are you? Okay. No. It, it must not be. It didn't answer. 
Sorry. Try again next time, I guess. All right, so getting spirit box first. Uh, we'll definitely have to double check for orbs again, but right now it's not a mimic because there were no ghost orbs. Um, also gonna rule out Dio for net. Oops, sorry. For now. Uh, let's see. Is that a door to? Okay, so let's look for. Let's grab fingies next. And dots and salt. So let's and this and crucifix and that and sound sensor and that and that and that. Okay, let's just grab everything at once. Let's just back the truck directly into the house. That would solve all our problems at once. Not sure that was a really good idea right now, but let's see. Okay, I mean, we have no fingies yet, but no guarantee that we haven't seen them yet. Yes, no fingies yet. Yep. The double look for those in just a minute. It has done quite a few throws. It could just be a poltergeist. Uh, it is not tarot cards. Did I see the curse sign? Yes, I did. That's sitting right there, dumbass. <laughs> Let me grab a uh, photo camera. And um, I suppose we can grab more salt. Can it be a wraith? Yes, it can. So we definitely want to watch for uh, it not stepping in salt. And I think... I think we have every evidence item in there now. I don't think we really have to worry about any other evidence item. It is not a wraith. Okay. Okay. Well, that was quick. And immediately stepped in the salt. Wraiths cannot step in salt. Not that they refuse to step in salt. It's that it doesn't show up. They can step through it, but nothing will show up. Uh, that's the gist of that. Uh, that was six, right? Two. Uh, three. Four. Why does my finger not move? Five. Six. I don't know how he's able to take a picture without moving anything. Uh, okay. So what else do we need? We need Paramic uh, 25 and ghost event for that uh, so we'll start looking for I mean let's double check for ghost orbs of course oh, that may be EMF 5 no that was EMF 3 let's drop the camera drop it anywhere nobody cares Seeing any ghost orbs anywhere. Good. Well, good and not good at the same time. Not seeing any fingies. Okay. Oh, let me take a picture of the mirror while I'm standing right next to it. Why the hell not? Okay. Take it, we're gonna have to start ruling things out. It did just touch a door. And we got ghost writing as the second evidence. Ghost writing rules out the mimic entirely. We got ghost writing. I'm not gonna trust I can take a picture of that, so let's get um Let's get the last salt and just drop it right on top of the other ones. Make sure I don't goof a picture. We will have to look for the bone, which I don't want to, but anyways. A pair of mic for one of the ones as well. Okay, and wow, that really doesn't narrow much down, does it? Spirit Poltergeist, Mare, and Moroi again. Diogen right now just temporarily crossed off. I just believe it's not a Diogen. Um, but we will certainly double check as we uh, continue. Oh, 
I didn't even notice the time. This may be the last one. No, we are doing uh, very well. That's when I die. <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen for a paramic. Shut this damn thing off. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Why isn't that creaking considered a sign? Wouldn't that be a sign? Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Break me off a piece of that. Sign. Come on. Need a whisper. Give me a sign. It's a throw. Doesn't count right. Nope. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign, damn it. Sign, sign, everywhere a sign, except for in this room. You won't give me a sign. Really? Really? Give me, give me a sign? I mean, what? Shade? Can't be a shade. <laughs> what, what is going on? Give me a sign. What the hell plant is that? What is that? A, hold on. What is that a picture of? Oh, is that a cat? Oh, okay. It's like, what the hell is that? Wait. Wait a minute. Was that? No, it wasn't. Give me a sign. Touching doors. Is that cold breath out here? Yes, it is cold breath out here. Hold on, this ghost change rooms. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Oh God, it's the naked one again. Ooh, get out of here. <laughs> it's him again. All right, is it in the living room? Yes, sir. It also kind of just followed me with that event. Hi. Event. And they did another one. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely right here then. That's nice. All right, give me a sign while you're in here. How about you give me a sign? You're a poltergeist from Miramar. I see none of those actually have that as like its ability. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. I don't want to back myself up into a corner because that could be very bad. Give me a sign. You can just get this light on over here. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. What? Why won't this give me any signs? This is crazy. So what all can it throw? You can throw all, like almost all of these things, and it hasn't done that. Probably not a poltergeist. Could double check that we are in the right room with the uh, mirror as well. I really, it not giving anything. It is definitely in this room, which would include the chicklets, but not the erasers. Definitely not uh, pointing that direction. Yeah, I should be able to get it right here. What's this ghost doing? Give me a sign. Does it know that it's LG? I think it knows it's LG. And it won't give me a sign. Give me a sign. Here, let's do this. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. A sign. A sign. A sign. A sign. Didn't like my song. Ooh, give me a sign. What? 
Thank you. It's about freaking time you gave me a sign. Alrighty then. Oh, righty then. Now I'm gonna die because it's a Moroi. <laughs> okay. So, now, let's look for hiding spots, if there are any. There is no run right there. Let's grab a smudge, lighter. And I believe we're gonna have to get this thing to hunt to figure this one out. Because it really hasn't given us anything. It's given us a couple of ghost events. Spirit Poltergeist Mare. Moroi is going to get faster as sanity drains, and I just got a paramic response, which would definitely mean that it would be faster. Um, though we have to watch for average sanity. If my sanity drops below 25 while I'm in the light, that would prove that it is a Moroi. So that is something to watch out for there. So if I'm in the light and there's no ghost event that hits me. So let's just stand over here. Uh, and if you see this thing check as I'm standing here in the light, it's hunting. <clears throat> okay, it's normal speed. It's coming from downstairs. What? It's going back downstairs. Hi, how are you? Okay, and normal. And that definitely flipped that, but it didn't fling it hard. I'm gonna rule out the pole team at that one. Though it did just throw something. It just threw two books at the same time. What? Okay, let's see. Um, and I did not smudge it, so we don't have a timer. It is not a Moroi then. That was normal speed and did it, did it get faster? I mean, I didn't see it for long enough. Well, I guess Mor Moroi does have speed increase, doesn't it? Moroi has a line of sight speed increase. Poltergeist, Mare, Spirit. Okay. Okay. My sanity is not below 25. That would rule out a Moroi right there. Um, we are having an and break, so... Whilst I'm still contemplating... That works perfectly. So what do we think? This could just be an... Uh, a, a spirit. Um, it did hunt from a completely different room. It hunted from downstairs. So it could be a mare. I'm just wandering away from the light and hunting in a completely unlit room, which would make perfect sense. So I think what we'll do is go back in the house, turn on lights, into the ghost room. See if it flips it off. If it flips it off, more than likely a mare. Let it hunt, set up a little pulty ring, um, and then do the count for spirit. I think that sounds like a good idea. All right, uh, welcome back. All right, so the plan here, I've already turned on the lights. So it hunted from downstairs, so Turn on the light. Let's go ahead and do this. Set up a little pulty ring here. And we will loop the ghost a little bit. 
Just to see. Now, I wonder if I was at 50% or not. That is a good question. If I was at 50% and I found the bone, way to go. Um, because if I wasn't at 50%, this thing just hunt... Hello? Ghost? What are you doing in here? Why are you in here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't be in here. <laughs> Don't you dare be in here. Normal speed again. We wait a couple of seconds. It is doing a lot of throws. Okay, let's get it to come over here. Come on, ghost. Hello. Okay, it is not a poltergeist. Oh, wait. Nah, it's not a pulty. Okay. That was interesting because that was quite a bit of throws. It wasn't every second, though. Uh, we also smudged. We smudged at 329. 329. 329.30. So 3. Uh, 331.30. 331.30. 332.30. 332.30 would be a spirit. Three thirty-two thirty. Are we at twenty-five percent yet? We are not at twenty-five percent yet. Okay. Three thirty-five thirty. There's another throw. Three thirty-five. No, no, no. Three, three, three thirty-three. Three thirty. Three thirty-two thirty. Three thirty-two thirty. Sorry. Okay. Does not appear. Okay, it just gave itself away that it is indeed a mare. Um, yeah, I think that's the only ghost in the game that can do that. Uh, during an event, it just shut off a light switch. I'm pretty damn sure that's the only ghost that could do that. <laughs> that we might have just caught another uh, interesting tidbit because I did not know a ghost could shut off a light during an event. Um, and it sure can. It sure did. Did we need any more pictures? We still need two pictures. So let's go get those salt pictures. We do need to burn a little bit more sanity. Um, so let's just drop one and grab another camera. Go ahead and get those pictures. Done with pictures. I think this is a mirror because of the simple fact that it hunted from downstairs and the lights were off downstairs. All right, so we just need to lower our sanity a little bit further. The hell was that sound? <laughs> I just heard an interesting squeak or something. I don't know what the hell that was. That just ruled out spirit. It hunted before the 3 330 330 mark. This is between a Pulte and a mare. And the hunt is over, so I'm kind of just waiting for the average sanity to dip. She just need a couple of lights on.
I gotta walk into the ghost. I can't see where the hell it's at. Oh, there you are. Right at the entrance. Alrighty then, nice. Okay, so we got our objectives. We got the bone. Um, now, so I know for a fact it's not a spirit because it did hunt before the spirit mark was up. It has not changed speed, so it's not a Moroi. It's not a Dio because it could not find me. Uh, this is between a poltergeist and a mare. In an initial hunt, it did fling things up a little bit. But I think we're going mare. Because I am pretty sure that it kept hunting from outside of um, outside of lights range. Like definitely outside of lights range. I mean, it hunted from downstairs for gosh sake. Oh gosh, goodness shake. We're gonna say it's a mare. Kyle Garcia is a mare. I think that's a safe bet. Let's let's see. This would be another correct. This would be all corrects for the houses. It isn't a mare. Show me mare. Welcome back. There's I ready for you. was right. And a Holy shit, that's another thing to look forward, look to look to look at, look, look at, <clears throat> I can't even think. Okay. So during a ghost event, if you can turn on that light switch fast enough and the ghost turns off the light switch, it's a mare. Because I think a mare is the only one that can do that during an event. I think we might have just seen something spectacular again. That is amazing. I think I just caught two things that is so rare. But I caught it on stream. <laughs> and there it is. One ability used. It used it during the event. Holy cow. So that is a thing. So. OK, so. For anybody who is like newer to the game or whatnot, doing on higher difficulties. So if the ghost is a mare, if you suspect mare, if there's a ghost of it, it's walking towards you, anything like that. And if you flip the light switch on and that light switch gets turned off, it's a mare because I believe it's the only ghost that can do that. I have never seen any other ghost do that because typically I'm pretty quick with it. Try to turn that light switch back on and it definitely used its ability to turn that light switch back off. Um, and it was hunting outside of its room. So, I mean, that's. That's kind of the giveaway that also was a mirror, but also the Hantu, um, the Hantu leaves freezing cold breath, leaves cold breath wherever it's at. So I had ghost events outside of its room and I went back to its room and I noticed it was still very freezing. And uh, that's the giveaway for the Hantu as well. So ghost events anywhere outside of its room. If you see cold breath, it's a Hantu. Couple of really neat things we saw tonight. That is Awesome. Some things that I've never seen before. We have seen tonight. Amazing stuff. All right. So we have just knocked out. What did I knock out? What the hell was that? That was another mare. That was another mare. That was a repeat. So first two days were a little rough with the hit list, but that was to be expected. Today was, of course, a teaching night uh, and we got every single ghost right. And we saw every ability plus a couple of hidden things that I've never seen before with these ghosts. That is absolutely incredible. The mayor turning off the lights during a ghost event. The Hantu leaving freezing breath away from its room. In an event, it's doing it eventing and it's it's venting. It's us and it showed that. Um, so we ended up with what? Two, four, six, eight, ten, ten ghosts total for Friday. Friday is, of course, the challenge wheel. Is probably going to be a solo challenge wheel, but we are still going to have a lot of fun that. Um, of course, the Reaper challenge will still be in fact still in effect. You give me a sub. I eat it up. I didn't even have to eat any today. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Pop off that hit list there. Let me go ahead and switch back to intro. And we thank YouTube for watching. Let me set up real quick because I'm very uncomfortable. Okay. 
I was slouched way down. Uh, my migraine has passed, thankfully. It was a pretty good night. Seeing some new things that I've never seen in this game, that, that is awesome. You know, that is really the coolest thing about this game, is that you see something new every every day. It is so crazy. Actually, my, my light seems to be of different color. No? No, it was right. Oh, okay. I don't know. My lights are just different, and as soon as I stared into them, I hurt my eyes. <laughs> All right, let's beat this. That is incredible. So yeah, the Han 2 showing freezing breath at an event. And then the um, mayor flipping off a light switch during a ghost event. Something new. We see something new every day. And, uh, you know, you subscribe, you'll see a lot new, a lot more new things. You'll see them a little bit later than usual. But if you watch me on Twitch, you'll see newer things. And you can also watch these videos over here. They're pretty neat. And that was pretty funny when that happened. <laughs> All right, good night, YouTube.